Hello, welcome back. That's right, I've got more content for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out so much. I'm going to be talking a bit about uh, one of my favorite Primarchs, Conrad Kurz. So I've been listening to the Conrad Kurz Primarch uh, book, and I've listened, I think he's is number 14. It's either 13 or, or 14. It's, it's up there. I've, I've almost listened to them all. And it's probably one of my like most favorite ones I've listened to yet. I know that uh, in stores at Games Workshop, it's the only one that's always kept on hand. Uh, again, and having listened to it now, I realize that, oh, because it's just so good. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything from the book. Uh, I will be doing full reviews and breakdowns of all of the Primark books once I start doing my book reviews. But for now, there's something that is discussed in it very briefly that I'm going to talk about, and this isn't a spoiler at all. But Conrad Kurz <clears throat> talks about his method of war. So his, like, when the Night Lords would show up and they would take go onto the planet and, you know, torture and murder and skin, you know, a thousand people, 10,000 people from this world and broadcast them doing this. And then the world would surrender because they're like, oh shit, the Night Lords are crazy versus uh, like Dorne's way of war where they would show up, have some peace talks, inevitably go to war with these people and then end up killing millions of people on this planet and then take it for the emperor and make it a compliant world. Now, uh, Kurz, it, it, and you never really think about this debate, and I didn't either until I was reading the book, where, uh, like, whose method of war is better? Because Conrad Kurz claims that his saves lives and his is doesn't use any resources. You show up, you kill these people, and then the world becomes compliant immediately because they're so terrified of what the night lords will do to them versus all these other different methods of war from the other primarchs where they might be considered more noble, but in the end, it's more cost worth, uh, like there's a higher cost to it uh, for lives, resources, uh, damage to the planet. Like it's just, it's such an interesting take that I've never thought about until Kurz talked about it. It's also why he's such an interesting Primark because whenever he shows up, he really rattles everyone's cages and really turns everything on its head, which I've always liked about him. Uh, but it, having started a Night Lord's army, uh, I'm working on some stuff for it now. It just gives me even more drive to finish more stuff. It's so cool to just think that, you know, the Night Lords were kind of right, I think, where it's, you know, they were a terrible legion that loved, like, torture, skinning people, all the things you don't want <laughs> your, uh, your uh, legionaries to enjoy. And I think that they were really, it was kind of the world eaters and the Night Lords that were, you know, Chaos Space Marines before it was cool to be a Chaos Space Marine, you know. They were doing that stuff way beforehand. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Have you ever thought about this? I know even though I've read so much lore and, like, gone su on such deep dives with the Primarchs, I've never, ever considered that thought process where I'm always like, Kurz is nuts, the Night Lords are crazy, they were, you know, murderers. But maybe... In the end, that works out better because they killed far less people. This is initially. Later on, <laughs> not not so much. They, they killed a lot of people later on. But at the start of the crusade, when the Night Haunter took over uh, and they would go from planet to planet, that was their method of integrating planets. And it was highly effective because people were terrified, right? He really is the Primarch that brought fear into compliance. And no one else really did that. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Primark videos coming out, so stay tuned.